the splendor of the king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth is our God is our God One more time How great is our God Sing with me how great Splendor of the King. Acts chapter 6, verses 1 through to 5, page 1098 in the Pew Bible. In those days, when the number of disciples were increasing, the Grecian Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What a friend we have in Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Peace we often forfeit Oh, what needless pain we bear Oh, because we do not carry Everything to God in prayer Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged to the Lord in prayer Can we find a friend so faithful Who will all our sorrows share Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer Are we weak and heavy laden Comfort with a load of care Precious Saviour, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee, take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take you to shield thee, thou wilt find a solace there. Folks, uh... This morning, this afternoon, whenever you're watching this uh, this video, we're going to be looking at the issue of prayer in the early church, and we're going to be taking taking our thoughts from uh, Acts chapter six and the first few verses there. First of all, uh, the the chapter the chapter begins with a statement in which it says. In those days, when the number of disciples was increasing, and the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebrewic Jews, 
because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. There was a problem in the church. There were two different groups of, uh, of Jewish people that had come to faith and trusted Jesus Christ as their Messiah. And one group was being treated differently from another group. Does it sound familiar? Well, maybe not when we think of, the, think of it in that situation. But if we think of it in the situation of uh, our own society today and the issue of uh, black lives matter. In fact, it's true, isn't it? All black lives matter because all lives matter. And all were created in the image of God to bring him glory. But the objection there is that there are not equal rights for blacks against whites. That more blacks are in prison than the statistics uh, concerning the numbers of people in this country. Uh, there should be. More blacks are stopped on the streets and searched. And all those sort of things are going on in our society, not just in that situation, but in many other situations too, about equal pay for equal work and uh, men and women in the workplace. All those things are uh, difficulties that need even today to be sorted out. But in this situation, it was the two groups of Jews and they came and they made their complaint and it says there that the complaint was very very straightforward that one set of uh, believers were not being treated in the same manner as another set of believers and that's in uh, the daily distribution of food and so the 12 gathered it tells us in verse 2 the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to serve on tables. It goes on to say, So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would be good not to, uh, it would not be right to neglect the ministry of the word the ministry of the word of God, in order to wait on tables. There was a priority in the order of the thinking of the leaders of the church in those days and should be the priority for the thinking of the church and leaders in the church today. And when I talk about leaders, I'm not just talking about those who are your ministers, those who are your vicars, those who are your priest in charge or your pastor or those that are paid to do the job. I'm talking about leaders in the church in uh, a, a different way altogether uh, than that. I'm thinking of uh, leaders in the church as being each and every one of us taking up a leadership role and showing Christ uh, to be seen. And the priority was simple, wasn't it? It tells us there uh, in verse 4, it tells us that the priority is for prayer listen to verse 4 and I, I and we will give it give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word the priority was twofold the priority of the ministry of the leaders the elders of the church was this that they should pray together and that they should share god's word it was more important that the prayer and the preaching of the word was done, then it was that the problem was solved. But that didn't mean that they put the problem to one side. No, far from it. The disciples, the, the leaders, prayed about uh, the, uh, the, the situation. They prayed about it and they came up with a plan. They came up with a plan. What was the plan? The plan was this. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of, full of the Spirit and wisdom. 
Uh, we, will we will turn this responsibility over to them. This is verse 3, of course. So the priority for the, uh, the, the, the leaders of the church, the apostles, was to pray and to preach. But it was also important that they made sure that things were being done rightly. That things were being done properly. That everyone was being treat, treated equally. So, they said, get seven, pe seven people together. Seven men, it says. But get seven people together and they can be the ones who can deal with the problem of making sure that things run equally. They were to be, as it were, the deacons of our churches today. But notice, notice what it says when it speaks about these people. It says, choose seven men among you who are known to be full of the Spirit. Now, why on earth do you need to be full of the Spirit to serve food, to sort out food? Why is that an important fact in their thinking? The answer is this, and it's the words of Jesus. You can do nothing without me. You can't do anything for eternity, anything for uh, of, gr of great significance in the church without being full of the Holy Spirit. And that's the, uh, the issue here. The people who were to work in the church and do the things of the church needed to be born again Christians who were held in respect. Notice that it said, said something about that. It said who are known to be full of, uh, they were treated, the people that had respect in the church and were seen to be the people of God. You see, it's possible and quite often is likely in churches that good social work gets carried out. And people do it because they believe that they are serving God to do it. And in their own hearts and minds, they are. But sometimes... That social work, that outreach can become the priority and not the, not the not prayer and the preaching of the word. And that is the priority. Notice the priority, notice the order of the priority. The order is prayer and preaching. It's not preaching and prayer. It's prayer and preaching. Before we do anything in the church, whether it be preaching or any other matter, whether it be a uh, food bank or swap shop or uh, youth drop-in or any of the other things that we, we do, the first thing should be that it is covered with prayer. The people need to recognise the importance of prayer. Verses 5 to 8 actually speak about the power of prayer and why we need to be praying together. Even though we can't meet together now, we can pray together as we bring uh, our requests before God. Listen to this. This proposal, that of getting pe people to do the job, pe the right people to do the job, this proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Porcus, uh, Nicanta, T Timon, Formanus and Nicholas from Antioch. A con convert to Judaism. Notice he wasn't a Jew, he converted to Judaism. He was an outsider, but yet he was, he was there and able to work in the church. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed. Again, there it is, who prayed and laid their hands on him. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly and the large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great and wonders, great wonders and signs among the people. 
opposition arose, however, from members of the synagogue of free men, as it was called. Notice the power that prayer enabled in the church. Notice that it doesn't say because they got the right people to, do, to sort the food issue out. It doesn't say because the right people were in place to sort all the problems in the church. It doesn't say that because they were, do, because they were doing good work amongst their own people. It says because of prayer. So the word spread and the numbers increased. Verse 6. They, they prayed and laid hands on them. So the word of God spread. It's important, isn't it? That the whole church is seen in what is being said. The deacons, those doing other roles, need to be seen as people of God. So the church will be, given, so it will see the, be seen as the, the people of God. So that they, the people together as a group can bring glory to God. And that all starts with prayer. The problem solved. Peace is restored. The gospel is advanced. And wonders are seen through the ministry of Stephen. And God receives the glory. That is all because of the preaching of God's word. Of the, of, the, of the praying and the preaching of God's work and the work being done by godly people to bring God the glory. Let's pray together for our church and the way in which God will lead us and fill our seats that our church might be overflowing. Let's learn to pray together and to ask God for his leading and his guiding on all that we do. I sing praises to your name, oh Lord, praises to your name, oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praise I sing praises to your name oh Lord praises to your name oh Lord for your name is great and greatly to be praised I give glory
and sing praises to your name. Lord of heaven and earth, as Jesus taught his disciples to be persistent in prayer, give us patience and courage never to lose hope, but always to bring our prayers before you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. To him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God our Saviour, be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. I will seek your face, O Lord. 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 Lord, how awesome is your presence. Who can stand in your light? Those who by your grace and mercy Are made holy in your sight I will seek your face, O Lord I will seek your face, O Lord Your face, O Lord. I will seek your face, O Lord. I will dwell in your presence all the days of my life. There to gaze upon your glory and to worship only. face, O oh Lord, I will seek your face, O oh Lord, I will seek your face, O oh Lord, I will seek your face, O oh Lord.